Toy Story is one of the greatest movie series in the world. I loved it growing up. I loved Pixar movies, since I was a kid. However, there's something that I've been devastating from that. I think I might feel comfortable telling you. I was browsing on the web, watching YouTube videos, and looking on Google images of Toy Story, etc. Until, I got a mail notification on my laptop saying I got an email from Pixar. As I opened the email, it said. Dear biggest Toy Story fan in Australia. We have found a very old deleted scene of Toy Story 2 in our files. A former Pixar animator. We wish not to mention the name of, was fired for adding this in a film for children and his taste in horror films, so we dropped it out and replaced it with a better one for children. Only watch this at your own risk. The Pixar team. I was very surprised and confused. How did they even know me? And how was there a lost Toy Story 2 file? But I accepted the email anyway. The file name was, WoodyNightmareData.mov. So it was an early test of Woody's nightmare, huh? I thought. I opened the file, and it had a message, before the video started. This deleted scene of Toy Story 2 has been changed and will never be seen by the public. This disturbing clip is not for the faint-hearted. Viewer discretion is advised. Moving right on, it showed a shot of Andy's house at dusk. We zoomed into the window, and we go into Andy's room. No one was visible, except for Woody, who is on the shelf that Andy's mom put him on, after Andy accidentally ripped his arm. Woody was facing away from us, he sighed. He left me. He actually left me. He moaned. Woody turned around, with a depressed look on his face. His mouth quivered, his eyes twitched, and he buried his head into his knees and started to sob softly. It touched me deeply to see Woody crying. His sobs didn't sound too fake, they sounded like that his voice actor, Tom Hanks, was in tears. He cried for a good 10 seconds, before his crying got more pained and louder. I can't believe it. I can't believe he didn't take me with him to cowboy camp. He called out. His friends, Buzz Lightyear, Mr. Potato Head, Slinky Dog, Ham, and Rex heard Woody's sobbing, as they came out from under the bed. I realized the reason Woody was crying, and he didn't take him to cowboy camp. In a fit of anger, Woody pushed the magic eight ball, as seen in the first film, off the shelf, leaving the floor with a dent. Whoa, the cowboy needs a hold of himself. Ham whispered to his friends. Woody jumped off the shelf onto the ground and told the five toys that he will find a new home. Guys, short staff meeting, I will be finding a new lovely place for me to enjoy. So, goodbye everyone. The rest of Andy's toys heard Woody's speech, and they were saddened to hear Woody leaving. Woody climbed out of the window and looked at Andy's room for one last time, before sliding off the roof. He got flung up in the air due to the water drain giving him an extra boost, but he wasn't badly injured. Woody traveled throughout the Tri-County City, until he found an old restaurant. He decided to spend life as a homeless toy. Before he found a place to rest, he heard something rustling in the bin, which appeared in the final film. He went to investigate the bin, it rustled again until Broken Toy Arms, which also appeared in the final film, emerged out of it and grabbed Woody by the waist. He struggled trying to get the arms off him, but their grip was too strong. They pulled him in the bin. What Woody saw in the bin after being dropped in there were dead rats, blood and flies flying over their bodies. Woody had a scared expression on his face, he tried to climb out of it. While that happened, it had many jump cuts going back and forth showing what is happening in the scene right now, static, and what appears to be the beginning of Monsters Inc., where Mr. Bile was trying to scare a simulator child. Before Woody got an inch out, the arms grabbed him and tried to bury him alive. Woody was being strangled, as one of the arms grabbed him by the throat. He screamed, as he is being pulled into the bloody puddle, as it had another back and forth moment, showing animals being slaughtered, static and Woody being pulled in the bin. Only Woody's hand reached out, which is the only part of Woody that is not swallowed whole. Moments later, Woody got thrown out of the bin and landed on the pavement. However, he did not move. He was slightly inactive. He was missing his eyes, his mouth was agape, his stitching was ripped, and part of his face has been damaged, leaving a hole. There were screams fading in slowly, as the screen stayed on his face, zooming in on it. 
but not long after, it showed a scene that came from the final movie, Woody waking up screaming and gasping for air, the scene he meets Wheezy. Then the video ended. My stomach was feeling upset, so I rushed to the bathroom and vomited straight into the toilet. I couldn't bother showing it to YouTube, so I deleted the file, so no one could have their childhoods ruined. I've had a lot of nightmares about that video clip, I've hallucinated Woody's lifeless face staring at me. The animator who made that scrapped animation of Woody's nightmare from Toy Story 2 must be sued. I haven't watched a Toy Story video, nor looked up an image after what I just saw. If you get a file that is about a deleted scene which is made by a writer for his taste in creepy stuff, don't watch it.